Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, a few things I wanna talk about real quick and I swear this is gonna be a, a short video. So, and I say that all the time, but I know this will. Um, I am making, I've had a lot of people ask me like um, for pieces of my art and I owe so many people art. I mean, um, I, I owe people art, um, for people sending me art and, and I owe, I, I, I'm making, um, a calico cat for somebody and I'm in the process of doing that. And it's just, I, my life has taken, it taken a turn lately of just, um, medical issues between me and my husband and my daughter. And if it's not me, it's him. And if it's not him, it's her. And if it's not her, it's him. I mean, it has been crazy the past few months and it just does not seem to be letting up. Um, so I'm doing my best. So what I want to do is two things. I love reusing cardboard as we all do. And I, we get water, I get water bottles all the time. I don't know why I have a water filter, but I like to have that portable water and I'm lazy sometimes. And I don't like to get water out of the fountain, you know, the sink and ice and the whole thing. And I can just grab it and go in the car and come downstairs. And regardless, and I recycle the bottles. However, um, and you can use the tops of the bottles for in your mixed media as circles and all for your paint, which is, and you can use both sides, which makes it awesome. However, you get these cardboard pieces and I don't like throwing them away. So I started two mixed media pieces and I'm going to do um, a giveaway on my channel. I'm going to do both of these and I haven't decided whether I'm just going to make them and then post the, the end result or post me, uh, make a video like, a full video of me sitting down and doing them and I'll just do them in a fast forward um, video. And, uh, and then I'm going to do like two giveaways. And what I used here are different, um, just my base to go over my uh, cardboard. And so I'm going to do that. So somebody, two people will win each one of these. And they're very, what I love doing about these is because it's an easy way to do art recycle, which I am big into recycling and they're very lightweight to either uh, hang on your wall or just to lean. Do you know what I mean? Whatever way you wanna do. I go, you can go to the dollar store and buy, um, uh, what are they called? Like uh, picture stands, do you know what I'm saying? And you can buy and put it in or you can hang it. And when you win, I'll ask you if you wanna back put on it or whatever. Um, I do, sometimes I just take um, push pins and put it at the bottom and the top and hang it on the wall. You know, whatever. So these are the two bases that I have so far. They'll probably look nothing like this when I'm done, but that's the start. So I have two of these that I'm going to be doing and then um, giving away. And when that comes up, I will, uh, you'll leave a comment and then I'll pick the numbers and then you'll win. Secondly, nah, 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 this so far, I glued my little girl on and I'm loving it. I got to play with her face some more. I'm not really thrilled with her face color. Um, and, but I'm loving the colors, like the contrast of the colors and the different um, textures that I've gotten so far with the paint. Now is the fun part for me where she's attached. And all I did was attach her with some gel medium. You can use white school glue, Mod Podge, whatever you have. It doesn't matter. And, um, so now's the time to, like, I want to play. Um, I'm really thrilled with the background, so I'm not going to mute it out much. So I don't exactly know what I'm going to add on here and what I'm going to do yet. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But I'm really, really excited. Um, like I said, the colors came out really good. And I'm very excited. So she's going to do an uppy and a downy. And I don't like to put her right dead set in the middle. And, you know, she's kind of like off to the side because I'm like off to the side all the time anyway. So I'm going to probably put something in her hair because I love doing that. And play around a little bit more. You know, I have to like play with her face a little bit more and get it painted, you know. And uh, play around. So that's that. Last thing. Giveaway. I want to, I am actually surprisingly thrilled. I am well over 600 people. Um, I'm going to come on camera for a minute only. Um, let's see how. <laughs> okay. Um, not very happy, but I'm on camera because I, I feel weird not talking to you like this. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So um, I need you guys to write in the comments below. 
um, what you want the giveaway on. And then the most um, thing, you know, like whoever, whatever is uh, mentioned the most or chosen the most will be the giveaway. Um, or maybe, I mean, we'll see how it works out and, and what everybody is wanting. So here's what your options are. Number one, you can have, um, I will send you, you could win a, um, brand new, um, paper clay, creative paper clay. Um, if I was smart, I would have stood up and gotten one, but if I stand up, then you're going to see like my whole body and I'm not really, you know, we ain't going to be needing to see that all that right now. But you can win a brand new package of paper, creative paper clay, um, which is the air dry clay. Some people um, like to use that rather than polymer clay. So that's option number one. So I should probably write this down because I wrote down my recipe that I was I made last night and then got upstairs and said to my husband, I didn't bring my recipe up and no, neither one of us felt like running down here to get it. So I kind of just judged it. I wonder if I got it right. No, I didn't. But it still was delicious. I made polenta, except I didn't buy the quick cook polenta, which I buy constantly and only use. I bought the like long making polenta, which is really ridiculous of why I'm telling you this, but it's cornmeal and it's delicious. And I love making chicken like piccata with um, a lemon, butter, white wine, and caper sauce to go over. So I breaded the chicken and panko and fried it. And then like you put it over the polenta and then like you put the sauce after you reduce it. It's so freaking good. But um, I didn't know how to make regular long polenta. I'm freaking Italian. Who would have thought? When you got the nice, it tastes the same. But it was still delicious. And I put some, um, but I didn't have my normal chicken stock and blah, blah, blah. So I kind of winged it. Um, and then I put some cheese in it because I love cheese. But I only had mozzarella cheese, not cheddar cheese, which is what I love in my polenta. Which really isn't that Italian, but it was still delicious. And then I saved some and because I made a double batch and then I saved it. And now I have it in the fridge so I can cut it up and then like, um, you know, like brown it and make like a polenta um, parmesan. So that, that's a whole other story. But because I love food and I was doing on my blog, knittingandthings.com, um, recipes. So I might do the recipe for my polenta parmesan for people who don't feel like having meat that day or you know whatever because your polenta is already made and you really just kind of got to bread it but da, da 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 anyway yeah I talk fast I try to slow myself down when I'm on camera but I'm a fast talker you know there's close talkers and spitty talkers or wet talkers or I'm a fast one especially because I have so much going on in my head that I want to talk about anyway we're at seven minutes 52 seconds and I really got to nothing yet. So right now, number one is the, what was it? Oh, creative paper clay. I feel like my glasses are sliding down my greasy nose. I, I washed my face real good today. I've been out running around. It's just, it's like a thousand degrees here with humidity again. And it's September, September 10th. Who knew? So you're not, okay, so you can vote for, if you want to win creative paper clay, it would be a brand new um, thing. It's like this big, do quite a bit with it. Number two will be three blocks of polymer clay. It'll be Sculpey. And chances are, I'll probably let you pick the colors that you want, or I will give you my suggestions on what colors I think would be great for you if you're just starting out. If you're not just starting out and you want, um, you know, certain colors, then you can gladly, um, you know, tell me what colors, the three colors that you want is, are. Um, I think if you're just starting out and you've not used it before, you want to try it, white would be the best way to go because you can make things and then paint them or add things to them. But that's just my opinion. That's it. Number three mixed media items. And I just did a giveaway like a month and a half ago. Well, I think when I hit 500 viewers, um, so maybe a month ago on and, and gave like a big package away. So it'll just be mixed media items. Um, <clears throat> you know, some papers that you can use, um, just some like things, you know, bits and pieces I have around here that, um, whether you're starting out for beginners, mixed media. And what I'll do is if, my dogs are gone nuts. Um, if if you want mixed media, if the mixed media items win, 
I will uh, talk to you and see if you're a beginner or if you're somebody who's already, you know, been doing it. And um, if you're a beginner, then I can send you like a basic beginner pack of like some papers and, you know, a few little things here and there um, to, you know, help you out in the beginning and stuff like that. So those are going to be the three things that you can vote for. So below this video, this lovely video, pick either creative paper clay, three blocks of polymer clay, a uh, Sculpey, or some mixed media items. Leave it in the comments and then what's today? Today is Tuesday. So next to, I gotta write this down because I don't even remember to pee during the day. Next Tuesday, I will tally up because I know everybody doesn't watch like the videos that, you know, as soon as I post them, even though I think you should because I'm very important to myself. I'll tally up and then I'll make a video and announce um, what we're going to give the giveaway and then we'll do the comments on the giveaway and whatnot. Like I'll have like a little like thing on what to do, um, to get you in for the giveaway and then we'll have a winner. Does that make sense? Okay. Three. Okay. I'm going to do this one more time because if I was watching me tell you this, I would be like, what is she saying? We have three things you can choose from of what the get next giveaway is going to be for. You can, it can either be if you want to win creative paper clay, three box, three blocks of Sculpey polymer clay, and you get to choose the colors, or mixed media items. So right now, I want you to put on the bottom which one, if I'm when I have my contest, which one you would like to win. The one that gets the most votes will then be the prize, and then. Next, so that'll happen next Tuesday. I'll count up what everybody says, and then next Tuesday I'll make another video and then say, okay, this is what this is the contest, this is what's going to be won. And if it's mixed media items, I'll do like my last one and show you, like, oh, you'll get this, this, whatever. Um, you can request, you know, maybe something that you don't have that you know I have, like Punchinella or something that you want to win. And um, if that mixed media wins, and then um, then I'll say, okay, so do this to enter yourself into the contest, and then the following Tuesday, the winner will be, winner will be announced. So then we're going to do that. Also, um, the next thing I'm going to be doing after this, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like over 600 now, um, like maybe 612 or something like that, viewers, which I'm thrilled. So I am going to be doing um, a couple of the foam stamp giveaways. I'm going to work on them this weekend and probably make one or two sets to give away of just some, you know, of, of what I have as far as my Sizzix goes and what I can cut out to send to, um, two different people. Um, you know, so like if you're starting out with your mixed media or whatever that you can have, cause I know it gets very expensive, especially when you're starting out cause you want everything and you want to try everything, but you don't have anything. So I'm going to do like, you know, some of my foam, uh, cutouts and stuff like that. So you'll have the stencil and the stamps too. So I'm going to do two sets of those, just a few things, um, and do a contest that'll be coming up within the next few weeks also. So keep an eye out for that. I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for being so supportive. I love, love, love waking up to the messages I get. I get so many messages and I'm so blessed. You can find me at Kelly Donovan on, um, Facebook. I usually have a picture of my animals up, um, as my picture and um, knittingandthings.com, although I have not been on my webpage lately doing it because I've had so much going on and I really need to get back into that. Um, obviously my YouTube. Uh, if you're not subbed to me, please sub. And if you care to, you can share my page, my YouTube on Facebook or Pinterest or wherever. And, um, you know, share the love, spread it around. And let me know again at the bottom whether you want creative paper clay, three blocks of polymer clay, or uh, mixed media items. And then next Tuesday, be on the lookout. I'll be posting other videos in the process. But next Tuesday will be, I will let you know which item won. And then we'll go on forward with the contest. So thank you guys again. Um, be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, you guys are the best. The best. And um, keep subbing, keep commenting because you guys get me so excited and I love giving back. And although um, I wish I could give to everybody, I can't. So that's why I, I'm trying to have like 
contests and like I said, you know, doing a few paintings just to just, you know, some inspiration and, and stuff like that just to kind of give back to you guys because I really appreciate it and you guys make me feel awesome even on my shittiest days and believe me, I got some shitty days. So, um, and as well, um, I hope I do the same for you. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to start doing live shows soon. So, um, I think I'm, I'm really, I'm really saying yes today to it. So we're going to see. Um, and if I do, I hope that y'all, uh, will come. So, but we'll start here with the contest. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day and, um, keep creating whatever you love to do. Bye.